Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another episode of Carvaco Hacks. Carvaco Hacks is a short video series that teaches you tips and tricks on the Carvco software. In today's hack, we're going to be going over a game changer in design, the multiplate tool in Carvco Maker Plus. If you're not familiar with this tool, stick around for the video because this one's a game changer. The multiplate tool can be found under vector and it's at the bottom, the multiplate tool. The multiplate tool is used for batching out customized designs. Now these designs are based on a template and a data file. I'm just going to create a rectangle sort of similar to a business card. Okay, the next step we need to do is define some parameters. For this, we're just going to use our text tool. Now the way this tool works is it uses data fields or variables inside of wavy brackets. A wavy bracket is just these brackets that have a sort of a wave at the top. And we're going to use two of those. And the first, we're just going to put a name and we're going to close that bracket. And this creates a data field. The data field is the name. Once we create that data field, I'm going to just position it on my card. Now we're going to use a couple of other data fields. We're going to go back to text. We're going to create another data field called state. Create. Let's create another data field called number. Now you can resize these and place them wherever you want on this design. I'm just moving these around to get them situated. And this might be an example for say some business cards or something that you wanted to make. Now let's say you had a bunch of these cards that you want to make and you needed a bunch of different names, a bunch of different state and numbers. So what we want to do is create a data file. I'm just going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a text file. Now we're going to call this text file instructions. Now inside of this data file or instructions, we're going to create a list using the same variables that we used in our project. So I'm going to do this by using two wavy brackets, name. We're going to press tab, wavy brackets, state. We're going to press tab again, wavy brackets, and we're going to put number. Now it's important that I used tab to separate each one of these fields because I want to do the same thing when I make my list. So this list would be a list of names, states, and numbers separated by a tab. Jason, tab, uh, state, LA, tab, number 10, enter. Tim, tab, state, Texas, number 34. I'm just making this up as I go. Um, this is just for my example. Okay, and that gives us five names, uh, five states, and five numbers. I'm just going to save this file. You can have as many variables um, as you want in your design. And I'm going to go to my multiplate tool. I'm going to select all of these vectors and set that as my template. This is the design template that we're going to be using to make all of these cards. Now that I've clicked on the set template button it's going to open up our layout the first thing we want to do is load our data and our data was on our desktop that's this instructions file and you can see up here choose the type of delimiter that divides your data and we use tabs so when i click on this tab you can see that it gave all these little red marks in between each one of the fields. And that's because we used a tab to separate those fields i also have first row is column headers I have this check so that it knows that name, state, and number are the headers for each one of these fields. When I press OK, it now knows that we need five plates. Now, the first plate position is in this bottom left-hand corner, and it's position 1 out of the 20 by 20 that is our total project size. We want to add a gap in between each one of our plates. I'm just going to use an eighth of an inch gap and also want to keep the plates off of the boundary of the so they're not up right up against the edge of the material so we're just going to use a 0 0.05 boundary and then i'm going to press the next button and it's going to show us a preview of how the sheet's going to lay out to put these five cards and it also needs to name each one of these variables so the name variable was this name the state was the state variable and the number was this number variable. 
all using these wavy brackets. And I'm going to press update. And now we're ready to create the plate. When I press create plates, it's now going to take that data from our data file and our template file and create a batch of our project. And you can have as many names and variables that you may need. This will help you quickly create large batches of customized items. And that's the multi-plate tool. Thanks, guys. and Make bid happen, and I'll see you on the next hack.